All right, so a while back, I did an ATV trail etiquette video and ways to avoid, well, being a dick out on the trail. And the video did well, and to this date, I still get comments on it, either through the video or just people messaging me or in person. So I thought, it's been a year, it's time to do part two on ATV rules of the trail. So I've taken the top five comments from riders, and we're gonna go over ways that you can avoid being a dick out on the trail. I can't say What's up riders, Chris with Navigate Off-Road, bringing you the best in off-road information, destinations, and reviews. I love these videos. I'm, I'm super pumped about this video, this style of video. It always generates a ton of discussion and just some funny one-liners as well. So, you know, after the video's over, head to the comments right below this video, respond to what I'm about to say, respond to each other. It's just, it's a good time, so get involved in that down below. And just all I ask is you keep it clean. Just keep it clean. We got the filters and all that stuff. So if you start throwing around the F-bomb and, and everything else, it's either not gonna show up or just get deleted. So that's uh, that's all I ask. And real quick, we're getting started real quick. Make sure you stick around to the end because we're also gonna cover the number one pet peeve from the last video. And I thought I was mad, but other riders, like they were madder than me. So we'll go over all that after we talk about the top five, starting with this one. What a beautiful night outside. Just beautiful. All right, so this one might seem obvious to you, but it's obviously not to many riders, or they just don't care. And that is, when you come up to other riders or people on the side of the trail, slow down and turn the music down so your exhaust quiets down and your music quiets down. It's a respect thing. That way they can carry on doing what they're doing and enjoying nature and as can you, it's a great time. Slow down a little bit, enjoy mother nature for the 15 to 20 seconds it takes to pass them. Get a safe distance in front of them because it's also a safety thing. You shouldn't fly by people. And then once you're far enough in front of them that your dust and dirt and rock isn't gonna shoot back at them, hit the throttle, turn your music back up and enjoy the rest of your ride if that's what you're into. Number two. All right, so this one is more and more important the larger your riding group gets, especially when we start talking like ATV clubs, right? Large rides with tons of people. And thank you to everyone that brought this up. I would have never thought to include this and I, I definitely understand how, you know, it would get people upset out on the trails. And the idea is this, when you're riding and you get to a turn, stop at the turn for a second, look behind you, make sure that the rider behind you sees that you're taking that turn. Otherwise what happens is you zig and by the time I get up to you, I zag and go the wrong way. Now I'm unsupervised, alone in the woods, scared. We gotta get a search party to come find me. Like I'm over there crying somewhere and it just wrecks everybody's day. Number three. Okay, so we're gonna go here and then we're gonna take a right. Look out! Are you serious? Are you serious? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Mm. Mm. This one, this one fires me up. And I know I'm not alone here because I probably get contacted about this one more than any other one. And that is, don't be a parking lot racer. Just slow down, slow down. There's a lot going on. I know you're excited. I get it. It's a trailhead. You, you know, it's probably been a long drive. If you're like me, like you already had an energy drink and you're just looking forward to getting out on the trail. But it just, you gotta slow down. There's people loading, there's people unloading. There's trucks with trailers moving around. There's people moving around. There's often kids running around. You gotta slow down in the parking lots. It's not worth it. Nothing is gonna be gained from getting out on the trail like 20 seconds sooner. All right, but a lot can be lost. So just bring it down a notch, bring it down. And I know someone in the comments down below is gonna be like, screw you, man, don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do, man. Just bring it down a notch for the safety of everybody. Just don't be a jerk. Gosh, ah. You're right, so, you know, I know. All right, all right, I'm going back, all right, so. I apologize. Smiley face, thank you for being considerate of other riders. Please slow down in the parking lot, number four. I don't even have a cutaway for this one. I, I really don't. Uh, I didn't want to talk about it. I, I almost didn't bring it up because I know a lot of people are going to click away here, but it's become it's become such an issue. I get comments about it. I get bombarded by it quite literally every week, and that is drinking and riding. I know you're going to click away like, screw you, it's a public service announcement, and I do what I want. The problem is it's, it's a problem, right? It's a huge issue in the off-road community right now, so please just save it for the campfire you know enjoy the ride during the day and then at night drink whatever you want that's legal for whatever age you are and just uh enjoy the day you know we're all out there trying to have a good time there's kids there's families 
it's it's not about you to be honest it's about them and the other people that you could hurt so please for their safety you know help help us all out and and save the alcohol for after the fact number five All right, so this one, I just, I, first of all, I should say, if you're wondering why I keep moving, it's because the sun wasn't out and it keeps like popping up and I'm trying to run away from it for this whole video. Doesn't matter. Number five, I'm a huge, huge offender of. So let me just, as a rider, let me apologize to you for this one. And that is not having your headlights on when you're out on the trail. I don't do it on purpose. I just forget to turn them on. So a lot of riders that, that drives them nuts and, and I understand. So turn your headlights on when you're out on the trail. In fact, even if you don't do it for other riders, quite honestly, it's a lot in many, many, many states. In fact, I'm trying to think of a state that I've been riding where it's not a lot. So turn your headlights on for the benefit of everybody and yourself. I've even been yelled at by the DNR for this. Thankfully, uh, they haven't ticketed me they just yelled at me and I've earned it because I didn't have my headlights on so I flick them on and we all go about our day turn your headlights on but but don't turn your light bar on when you're just coming at other people they're like your high beams you got your you got your light bar on and you see other riders turn your light bar off just use your headlights thank you that's it all right so number one the number one pet peeve we had from the last video, and this is gonna be like common sense to everybody, but it is still an issue, an issue that I have gotten so many complaints from, and I totally understand it. So we're addressing it again. That's your trash. You brought it in, you bring it out. Simple as that. I cannot tell you how many people I've gotten fired up, either in comments or conversations with me about trash. Like a lot of people, I some of them I like, you know, I'm surprised they haven't assaulted someone out on the trail. So just, just pick up your trash. That's all I got. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it helped you in some way. I hope you learned something from one of these. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I hope to see you on the trail with my headlights on. Oh, and by the way, click this video. If you want to see our first one, click this video up here. Or just to see our latest video, click this guy down here. All right. Good night, everybody.